to my channel. As you know, my name is Teray, and today I'm going to be reacting to a new artist named Britton Smith. Britton Smith actually emailed me and wanted me to make a reaction video, so uh, here I am. I hope you guys enjoyed this artist. I have not listened to anything by him, but I'm very stoked to see what it is because it's dark pop, and boy, do you guys know I love pop. Mmm, dark pop is my jam. So, like this video and subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. Also, his information is down in the description if you want to follow him on social media. <laughs> Guinea dipping with the devil in the desert sun. Probably shouldn't do that, but you know. Do you, boo boo? Do you? It's a Britton Smith is reminding me of Adam Lambert. When Britton Smith went in that register, I was very. Mm, it reminded me of Adam Lambert a little bit. A little bit. But, well, you know. I delicious oof oof mm, the road I'm already gone I'm already like ah oh, I could ooh ooh it reminds me of the industrial music I used to listen to also in high school I can definitely see like the development of this because it's a very good track but I can also see where it, it could do a little bit work especially the transition between the verses and the chorus I think that needs to be a little tweaked there to actually make it a smooth transition oh, 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 oh. It's see like that that uh, transition that and then eyes up like I wish there was something there that was different to make it an easier transition. But again, I really like the single. I I could see it being, and that's another thing that really irritates me because Kim Petras has the exact same like releases of these songs that some of these songs could be on the radio. Adam Lambert, I haven't heard an Adam Lambert song on the radio and it just sickens me. Um, but these songs could be on the radio and they're not. And I don't understand. Like, I, I wish somebody would let me know. I'm going to start on radio station. S screw it. I feel like this singer has a rock voice. And I'm, I, I appreciate it on a pop song. But I feel like he can... I don't know. I feel like... He can belt more. I don't know if he's, if that's just kind of like the end of what he thinks is his register. I'm not sure, but I feel like he could belt more. Maybe I'm jumping the gun here. I mean, we still have like a minute, eh, less than a minute left, but like, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> You would go up there. I was hoping so badly. Ah, good for you. Oh man, I was I was like I'm not sure if he's gonna go up there, but you went. Oh, good for you. Oh man, good. Eee, that just made me so happy. Yes, I really like that song. Parting it, putting a heart next to it. Um, oh my goodness. It definitely took a moment to grow on me. And I definitely, I hope in the future, uh, Britain actually releases an album. Because, I don't know. I feel like this is a, this is a beginning. This is a really good beginning. And I can't write for crap. Like, I can only critique what I hear. <laughs> um, I... 
mm, words, eh. but this was a really good beginning. Eyes on the road, and it has that mentality of, and it has a message in there that even though you're the dark sheep, even though you're an underdog, doesn't mean you can't succeed. Keep your eyes on the road and keep going. Love it. Love the message of it. I'm doing all Britain songs today. I'm just doing it. I'm just going for it. This is converging and I don't know if I like it all that much. It's like a subtlety and then like a beat underneath and I don't know if it's going to converge right. We'll see. Mm, we'll, mm, I'm a little iffy right now. There's a lot going on here that doesn't need to be. I feel like the verses don't need a beat underneath it. Don't do Feeling like a rolling stone. Listen to the radio. Like, I feel like I understand it's supposed to be pop and they're supposed to be maybe, but like, I feel like you could take all that out, do verses, and then get to the chorus and it would be more substantial than having it all throughout. Let me, let me just. See, I feel like if you would have just taken all of that beat out for the verses and then do 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 before the chorus, follow this mm -mm road, do 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 chorus. I feel like that would have been more powerful but i understand what he's trying to do he's trying to make an anthem and make it pop um but i feel like it would have just made the chorus pop a little bit more i love the lyricism the line do you want to pull the dandelions it's such a descriptive thing that I can actually sit and I'm like I can see this happening I can see it oh. Ooh, this is nice I actually love the the uh is it techno a little bit or is it like oh I love that sound that electronic sound here that it's this is getting a heart just for the fact that pull the dandelions is one of my favorite phrases i love it um do i think the song could be a little bit of work heck yes but for it to be released as it is, I, I don't have a problem with it. It's just I know it could be better and it's a pet peeve of mine. But I I definitely think Britain has a very strong voice. I think he could do more. I think Britain can do more with his voice. Maybe he's, you know, still dabbling and seeing if this is what he sound he wants to do, but like I feel like you you could do more. You could do more. Mm. I love just acoustic guitar. I love it. Ooh! Oh! That was a beautiful build-up. That was like some Troy Savon. Oh, 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 oh. I'm, mmm, mmm, mmm. I just love when things are simplistic and you're not trying as hard, but that, like, mmm. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Yeah, I do. Oh my God. Stared into your blue This is what I was 
thinking about for dandelions for the verses. It's like in dandelions, I was like, I I wanted this kind of flow. And then you gave it to me intention. And I'm like, like, I don't care if dandelion kind of sounds the same. Like, this has a beautiful flow. Mm -hmm. gosh I love the temperature of this song like I don't know why sometimes I feel so deeply about things but like I love the atmosphere of this song the it just it is immersive like I'm listening to Frank Ocean mmm and I love me some Frank Ocean like I don't play when it comes to Frank Ocean so like Ooh, if you ever, I know probably dark pop is where you're thinking about going, but this is a beautiful flow. And like one thing is Troy Sivan just came out with In a Dream. And this is reminding me of like the temperature wise, the, the flow work of the song, how simplistic the beats are, but the message of it is like tension and it's making me tense, but it's making, the, even the background is making me in like a dream like sequence like oh man i can't ah <laughs> on a movie I don't know where it needs to go like a love Simon I don't care like I need it in a movie do it now like I the TV show love Simon this could this could be in a scene like ah oh, la wait is it love Simon or is it love uh what is his name <laughs> Yes. <laughs> like, I can't even. What? That is my reaction to Britton Smith. Um, please go check this artist out. Oh my gosh. Tension, one of my top songs. I don't mind Eyes on the Road and I don't mind Days Dandelions, but Tension has that production with it that makes it so much more. Like, I, if I wasn't even sure if I was listening. What? Choice of on like uh, like I I can hear it. Um, I don't know why I connected so much with this one, but like oh, and then the message behind it too. It's like can you feel the tension? And it's like somebody is really tensing up right now. Can you feel it? And I'm like hey, yeah, yeah. let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of the song. Like this video and subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. I will see you all in the next one. Back, y'all know I'm going back. Oh man, I gotta listen to this one. Uh. I can't let this go.